Hey you guys, what's up? It's Jenny and welcome back to another video on the channel. So first off, if you can't see, hopefully the video looks a little bit better. I got a brand new camera for Christmas, finally getting around to use it. So hopefully this improves a little bit of the video quality. Um, so I know it's been a while since I've done one of these Witches Roots unboxings. Um, I just took a little bit of time off through winter because I was having a hard time, but I'm very excited to be back. So we do have the February which is Roots to unbox. I'm really excited. It smells really good even from the outside. <laughs> so um, before we get started, if you guys would please like the video down below, do consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. You can also follow me on Instagram right here as well. So let's turn it around and get started with the unboxing. <music> Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. Um, I'm going to try my best to keep everything in frame. I'm really working on uh, <laughs> what all you can see within this camera frame. So, if it goes out of frame, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um, so again, everything that we're going to get is in this little note. So I'm going to set this aside just for now. And here you can see this is the theme for the box. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correct or not, but I think it's Triskel. So it's this little symbol right here. That's a Triskel. Um, I'll try and pause it. I don't know if you'll be able to, or you can pause it. I don't know if you'll be able to read it all. It's kind of small. That's beautiful artwork. I have the Spiral Goddess artwork we got from a previous one up on my, my wall around here, so I might add this one as well. Aha! Peppermint. Okay, so from the outside, I was like, this box literally smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, which I don't really get, but it just smells like super, super minty. So glad my nose did not steer us wrong. <laughs> so peppermint is our herb, which I'm so excited. I absolutely adore mint. Um, mint tea is my favorite tea. So, oh, and it's just so calming. It's so calming. That and lavender. Some of the most calming things ever. All right, let's do our oil first. So I'm wondering if I'm smelling the mint, if there's incense, and that's what I'm smelling, or if it's just this oil, because something was extremely strong from the outside. Oh, that's a beautiful bottle. Kind of see. There's not as much herbs in this one. So that's interesting. Maybe it's mostly just oil. Let me take a sniff. Huh. There's definitely something else with it. It's very like grassy smelling. <laughs> like literally smells like grass, like springy. So that's intriguing. Let me open up our little paper. Let's see what it says about our oil for the month. I don't know if this is meant to be like a body spray oil or if this is something else entirely okay so ah it is like it's an aura spray so you pause it it's this one right here number 10 the triskel aura spray all right so it looks like it says it has spearmint peppermint eucalyptus vetiver and rosemary maybe it's the rosemary that I'm smelling. It doesn't super smell like it, but it just smells very, very earthy. So I suppose that would make sense. Very interesting. I love their aura sprays. Like I have one of the, I think it's called it Luna um, from a Witch's Moon. I got it. Um, I was like probably a couple years ago, but I still use it because it smells delightful. Um, so here's our little spray mechanism for that oil. You just set it right here, hopefully within view of you guys. I'll set the artwork. Maybe right here in the back. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna guess this is our stone for the month. So let's see what we got. It's very rough. Oh, I'm gonna guess, it almost looks like, hopefully this is focusing. I'm working on getting the auto focus to actually actually work. I don't know if it is. <laughs> Doesn't look like 
it is, but I believe, I would say this looks like fluorite because there's a little bit of purple running through the green. I don't know if you can see that. And fluorite's typically green and purple, sometimes with even just a bit of like clear aspect to it. That's really pretty. I like the um, the shape and the roughness of that. That would even be maybe a little bit too big to wire wrap, but it's very fun. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's right under the thing. So, fluorite stone. If you want to pause and read that. Fluorite's one of my favorite stones. I have, um, actually a couple pair of fluorite earrings and I just love them. I think they're beautiful, um, uh, well-rounded kind of stone, I guess, for like all natural purposes. Like if you're going to do like, um, all natural for, if you're going to do like, um, healing stuff, um, I don't know. I love fluorite. So, okay, here we, this must be maybe our incense. Honestly, <laughs> this looks like bay leaf to me, like cooking. I don't think it's sage, but I could be entirely wrong. <laughs> it almost just looks like bay leaf. Um, oh, how cool. It's eucalyptus. So that's what I'm smelling, the earthiness. Oh, fun. I don't think I have anything like that. Um, dried eucalyptus bundle. That is extremely cool. Oh, I'm so excited to burn that. It smells very fresh. Um, almost kind of minty just very like clean relaxing I don't know if that makes sense like very airy and flowy <laughs> that probably doesn't make any sense but that's what it smells like all right so we have those um also do you actually have incense cycles is there a theme for this so let me take a sniff first and then we'll read and see I always like to try and guess um what the scent is. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I'm extremely off. So, oh. Okay, this is weird. I'm gonna say minty. Um, almost makes me think of like the dentist office, but in a good way, like the cleaning stuff that you used to like the fluoride kind of. Um, <laughs> okay, so cycles, ritual incense. Okay. So it doesn't say at all what's in it, but it smells, again, kind of fresh, kind of minty. Um, interesting. That'll be a nice one to burn, too, if you're doing, like, um, especially clearing stuff or if you're reading or um, something with um, communication, education kind of stuff. I, I think that would be lovely to burn. Um, here's our peppermint. I'm just going to smell just because I love to smell. I am because I love peppermint. Oh my god, this is so good. It's very strong, so it's probably pretty decently freshly dried. <laughs> okay, so this top section right here is a pretty big section um, about mint. If you want to pause, you can try reading that. All right, so it is associated um, elementally with air and fire, which makes sense. All of this it seems very air to me, very like just light and refreshing. And I associate all of those with air quality. So it can help with sleep, healing, transformation, purification in regards to like ritual use. So I want to just say this is intended for ritual use. So I'm assume don't make teas with this. Um, so this would be great if you're making like incense or like little satchels or something. Um, hey, there's focusing. So good to know. Always read the instructions on those kind of things because you don't want to ingest anything um, that you shouldn't be ingesting or is not meant to be ingested. You gotta be extremely careful. All right, so here is our candle. <laughs> nice white. Beautiful candle. I love these. I've been burning them quite a bit for different things. Um, let's see. Alright, so it says wishing mini spell candle. Alright, 
we have rolled this candle with the intention of giving you a source to place your deepest dreams and aspirations. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to visualize and or speak through your goals, allowing your intuition and psychic sight to show you potential paths. Do not leave candle burning unattended. <laughs> Always got to put a disclaimer, but um, I think that's beautiful. And like white, it shows like a nice fresh start, you know, it's a blank canvas. So um, I think it's perfect for those kind of rituals and intention um, workings. All right, so it looks like we have a pendant. Let's see what we got. Oh, I wish it wasn't plastic. You know, you just put it in the bag, but that's just me not liking plastic. All right, forgot all these are in plastic, I suppose. Um, Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Obviously, I'll probably take it off this little um, chain and just put it on like one of my nicer metal chains. It's because these always look weird on me. Like, I can't get them to lay flat and then they're like curvy, you know? But, I mean, it's nice that they offer that because not everybody's going to have something else like put it on. But this is a beautiful pendant. Again, really nice metal. Um, they always do that. Really good quality when it comes to their pendants. That's so nice. All right, so let me, there we go. Okay, so Chiskel Pendant Cord Necklace. I do hope you're able to read that. It's probably gonna be pretty small, but you're welcome to try and zoom in if you'd like. All right, let me read a little about it because I know not everybody really knows um, what the Triskel is. So it's an intriguing and powerful symbol. The Triskel continues to be prominent within magical illustrations and workings. The Triskel has been found throughout many histories and corresponds with a variety of similar interpretations. Derived from the world Triskels, meaning three legs, the Triskel or triple spiral represents a cycle in, similar, in simple terms. These interpretations can be associated with life, death, and rebirth, land, sea, sky, or mother, maiden, and crone. In essence, these representations are vital in our understanding of how important and magical each process should be. It is a simple reminder that we are in motion, working through transform transformative steps and gaining new insight through each phase. As you wear this pewter Triscoll pendant, be reminded of how sacred your actions truly are and how they form the cycle of life in which you live. That is beautiful. I love that. I love the idea of just of cycles. That's why, again, I always love the Wheel of the Year, um, the Tree of Life, because it shows, you know, ancestors, us present, and what's to come. Um, there's just, I don't know, I, I love... The idea of changing of times you know there's always moment there's always change and i don't know i think it's meant. <laughs> i think it's important to um to think about those things and be mindful of them and then be frustrated when your camera doesn't focus <laughs> all right guys so that is our box for this month let's make sure we got everything peppermint the peppermint artwork, Triskel, Triskel, Book of Shadows reference page, Aura Spray, Fluorite Stone, Cycle Ritual Incense, Mini Wishing Candle, and Dried Eucalyptus Bundle. So that is the full thing for February Witch's Roots 2021. Um, I'm really pleased with this box. Again, I haven't been disappointed with any other boxes in the past, so I'm, I'm I'm grateful. So, all right, that is that is today's video. Thank you guys again for taking the time to watch this video um, and being patient with me as I take my time to come back to YouTube. Um, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.